Okay, yeah, quite a few Scarlet Elf Cups down there, look. Yeah, quite a few on here. Yeah, they are edible. But like I say, always check uh, to make sure that uh, what you're eating is definitely edible before you go picking it. Hey right, everyone, um, welcome back to my channel, uh, hope you're having a, a nice day, uh, just out for a walk in the woods again today, um, brought some stuff with me, got a bigger backpack on as you can see, uh, brought quite a bit of stuff with me, uh, just some stuff I want to do today while we're out here, but uh, yeah, uh, just filled them some mushrooms back there, um, called Elf Scarlet Cups, I think they're called, but uh, yeah they are supposed to be edible, I don't eat mushrooms anyway because I don't like mushrooms, but uh, they, are, they are edible when I've checked up on them, but uh, yeah, like say, if you go around foraging and picking mushrooms, especially mushrooms, just make sure you're 100% of what you're picking, because um, some mushrooms you'll only eat them once and that'll be it. You won't get a chance to eat them again. So, yeah, like I say, I don't mess around with mushrooms. One wild edible I won't mess about with, because uh, I'm not confident enough to pick mushrooms. Uh, plus, I don't like them anyway, so I've got no reason to pick mushrooms. But yeah, like I say, back in the woods again, as you can see. Back just, just to my local woods again, like I say, just a war uh, warning, uh, morning walk. Uh, it's supposed to be raining today on and off, so uh, it was raining when I first got here, but it stopped. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be setting the tarp up just in case it obviously does rain, and then uh, just going to have a quick cook up on uh, on the stove that I've got with me, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, dog over there. We're in, and uh, like I say, we'll have a walk about and um, see if we can find somewhere nice. I am looking for a birch tree to tap as well to get a nice drink. Actually, there's a little birch tree down there, so I'm going to have a walk around and see if I can find a birch tree, and then uh, a decent one. And I'll bring you back when we get one. So, now you'll see us then. Right, everyone. Um, found a nice little camp spot. Uh, just got the DD 3 meter by 3 meter tap set up today. Just with a hammock, uh, just to relax in. Uh, I know that it's not the best set up, but it's just somewhere to sit. Like, so obviously, I'm not doing an overnighter. If I was doing an overnighter, obviously, I'd have the hammock a bit higher. And probably the tarp higher, depending on the wind. Uh, hammock has got a bug net. As you can see there, but uh, I'm not going to bother putting the bug net up. Because, obviously, like I said, I'm just using it for somewhere to sit and relax a bit while we uh, get sorted out so i was going to tap the birch tree first because you found one hopefully it'll uh, give us some sap but uh, it's starting to drizzle a little bit so i thought i better get the tap up first and then at least i can put all my stuff underneath the tarp and uh, keep it dry which i'm going to do now because uh, it's starting to drizzle a little bit um i was meant to bring some tin foil to put over the top of the um container to stop rain going in it so uh, i'm going to have to improvise a little bit i think to try and uh, uh, prevent as much rain going in as possible if it does uh, start peeing down so yeah I'll just get set up and then um, we'll uh, top the birch tree, I'll show you which one it's going to be uh, just that one there in the background so, uh, we're just going to try and top that see if we can get anything out of it so yeah I'll just get all my stuff together and uh, we'll go and top the tree right um, hopefully you can see me uh, what I've done is I've plastic banded some plastic on the top just to stop the rain getting in um, hopefully you can see what I'm going to do Sorry, it's a bit tight again here. Uh, I'm just going to tap the tree, uh, about here probably. Tie the bottle round, and then uh, hopefully we should get some uh, sap going on, hopefully. Yeah, I've just got a little auger, just with a little cork. So like I said, I don't want much sap out of it, so we'll see what we can get. Now it's uh, pretty blunt this, so uh, we'll see what we can do. There's stuff coming out. Don't know if you can see that. So uh, we get this tight to the tree. Then we put the uh, pipe in.
Now it's got a little uh, metal straw, just uh, with a little bend on it, so please make way. Right, finally got it. So, I'll uh, just leave that drip a bit and then uh, we'll leave it for a couple of hours while we go and get something on the cook and then we'll come back and check it in a bit. Yeah, right. I'm uh, just going to get a uh, fire going. Uh, just using the flint and uh, steel and char cloth. Uh, light fire with that. I always use a ferro rod, so I thought I'd try something different. Uh, just got a little nest of straw, a bit more straw in there, some birch bark on there. So, yeah, we'll uh, see if this works. Like I say I haven't done this for a while so uh, it might work, it might not, let's find out. Put a bit more charcoal in there as well just to give us a better chance of going. Yeah, we'll try this bit. Uh, I've only done this a few times so like I say sometimes it works pretty fast and sometimes it doesn't. Let's we'll see if we can get it going. There you go, no, there you go. Not very much luck today with stuff. Try that bit. There you go, a little red ember on the end there. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. Right, put it on the nest. Try not to smoke it. I think we should have had a bigger nest like. Uh, we're going to cook on this first today, then I'll uh, make a cup of coffee afterwards. Hi, right, you right, everyone? Hi. Just going to uh, dice an onion, dice a turkey. Uh, got some corned beef as well for uh, corned beef hash we're having today, just something simple. So, mostly frying pan. We should be alright with that, don't I think? Uh, get the onion done first. Yeah, this uh, stove I'm using as well is part of the Kelly Kettle kit. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. Uh, Kelly Kettle is one of my favourite uh, things to cook, used to cook and boil water. Absolutely brilliant it is. Yeah, and on this side, I've got the um, hole on this side so I can feed the fire with the wood. I've got a little hole in the side of here so you can put the uh, fire in. But there's not that much wind. Normally you have that hole down there facing towards the wind. But uh, there's not, not that much wind today, so hopefully we can keep this going. Right, I'll do this and get the onions in. This pan's uh, not proper season now, so sometimes it sticks, but we'll give it a go. Hopefully we're on steady enough pace. We've got to eat. Let's cut the turkey up while that's uh, starting out. 
So I'm just cutting this up into our little dices. There we go, it's on a sizzle. Let me put the turkeys in. Tips. And also, yeah, we'll let them roast up first before we put the cold beef in. Right there, everyone, time for the corned beef. Yeah, like I say, this pan's not the best to keep sticking, but no man. It uh, needs uh, quite a bit of seasoning on it, I think. Yeah, uh, leave that biffing out because I don't know if that's going to be uh, too much. I'll cut a little bit more. Nope. That's it, so far. We're going to get a bit of pepper on it. And I think it's not that far off, done. Hello. I keep watching the handle on this watch, it does get hot. Yeah, I think it's somewhere near it. Doesn't look the best of meals, but I bet it's going to taste nice. I think this is now done. Let me go yeah, I'm just going to eat it straight out of the pan. Uh, the oven bugger bringing, bringing a plate. I think it's messing a load of air stuff up. I stuck to the pan a little bit at the bottom, but I'll clean it out. Right, this fire does keep going out as well, which is a nightmare. It's because there's uh, not much wind or any breeze around, so... <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to sit up here in the hammock and uh, enjoy my meal. Hopefully if I can get in, both falling. Yeah, that's nice, that like. Absolutely good, so 
just going to finish eating this and then um, I'll get the water on the boil for the uh, coffee. Uh, aye, that was uh, absolutely gorgeous, that corned beef hash. I uh, didn't eat it all, obviously it was too much. So uh, foxes did not eat it because it is meat. So uh, foxes will come and eat the what's left, or the uh, jugs. But uh, yeah, uh, just going to get a couple of bottle of water on the uh, boil now to, for the coffee. Uh, it's starting to rain now, so I'm just going to get this done and off to bring the cameras under the shelter. Then I'll have to uh, clean that pan out as well. Obviously you don't need too much in there. Uh, yeah, these Kelly kettles, obviously you've seen uh, these quite a few times on my uh, channel. But absolutely use, loving these kits. I think it's the best kits I've got for cooking with. Like I say, obviously you don't have to take that stove off as well, that's in there, you can just put it straight on. There's that enough going on. And obviously it comes up like a rocket stove like that. So I'm just going to get the cameras back under here because uh, like I say, it's starting to rain. Get the wood under. Right, as you can see, we're boiling now. And you lift these off, lift them off uh, like that, obviously. Put your hand over the top there, you're going to burn your hand. So, yeah, like it's absolutely brilliant bits of kit, I love them. Right, it is raining now, so uh, I'm going to try and get the cameras back in as quick as I can. Then I'll see, like I say, you've seen this on loads of videos. When you pull a whistle out, use a whistle to tip the back so you don't bend your hands. There you go. And a bit of water left's going to go in the frying pan to wash it. Right, everyone, um, you're sat in the hammock and under the tarp chilling. Uh, it's raining, two minutes, you might be able to read it. It's only a light drizzle at the minute, it's not um, absolutely chucking it down, but uh, I had no better sound than the sound of uh, rain on top of your tarp. I've been wanting to come out for ages and catch the rain, but every time I come out, we're supposed to forecast for rain, it never rains. So, uh, yeah, so I finally got out in the rain anyway, well, a little bit, like I said, it's not absolutely chucking it down at the minute, but um, still sounds nice on the tarp. Yeah, if I still burning, just burning a few bits of wood off that I've still got. Yeah, I was hoping to see some deers walking past as well, but uh, been on, but there's been a few dog walkers walking past as well. So, uh, uh, no sign of any deers yet. If we see any up here, I'll get them. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit here, relax, chill out a bit, finish my uh, cup of coffee. Uh, then, uh, I have checked the um, tap, obviously, it's only about that full at the minute, because, obviously, basically, you need to leave them on the tree a while. But I think the tap I've used is too small for the Olaf plugs. So there's a bit of sap going around it, it's not all coming through the uh, tap itself. If it was, it'd probably fill up a lot quicker, but like I said, it's only for a quick uh, drink to spring. So, right, so I'll drink, uh, finish my coffee and then I'll bring you back when we're done. Uh, as you can see, uh, we haven't got a lot in there, but uh, it's a nice little drink anyway. But yeah, so uh, I will get it off the tree because it is starting to chuck it down now and um, start getting packed away. So I will get it off the tree and uh, have a quick drink. But still is tapping in there.
there, there you go, like I say, not a lot. But uh, obviously being chopping there. Uh, I am going to plug the hole as well. I will be putting a uh, branch in there to uh, plug it. The absolutely gorgeous drink just tastes like a uh, sweet water type thing. The yeah, absolutely beautiful and it's supposed to be really good for you as well. So yes, I'll get the all plugged up. And then uh, we're going to start packing the rest of the uh, camp away. Uh, there's the old plug. You can see the water coming down the trees just a bit off the rain. A little bit of sop that was running out. But uh, yeah, should heal up now. Right, yeah, right, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Aye, all packed away, as you can see. That's where my uh, tarp was in Ridge Man. Obviously, uh, put it away wet, so I'll get it dried when I get back home. Uh, starting to chuck it down now. I uh, don't know if the camera can pick it up. But yeah, obviously, fire's out. Well, there was no fire scar anyway, because it was in a contained uh, Kelly kettle. But yeah, them Kelly kettles are absolutely brilliant uh, bits of kit for cooking on. Like I say, one of my favourite things to bring out into the woods. Obviously, I wouldn't travel miles with one, because they are pretty bulky and big. But uh, yeah, pretty good, like, for uh, just a little cook up and a uh, cup of coffee and whatever. Uh, that backpack as well, obviously it's a different one that I normally use because I've put more gear in it. It's a uh, high gear Nepal 65 uh, litre. You get them out of outdoors, they are only cheap. Normally you can get them for about 25, 30 quid when they're in the sale. But uh, yeah, just for a little day pack, it'll be alright because the zips are absolutely shit on them. They keep on jamming all the time and they're uh, getting caught up. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend the zips on them. The zips are crap. But just for a little day bag or something like that, like if you're not carrying much gear, uh, probably alright. But yeah, I wouldn't go proper backpacking with that, like. And uh, yeah, obviously coats over there. I'm not going to put my coat on because it's absolutely red hot. And I'm going to obviously sweat walking out of here anyway. So, I drink here, just a quick one. Just uh, tapping the birch for spring. Getting a nice spring drink in, in my system. Uh, I cooked up uh, corned beef hash. And obviously I had coffee on the kelly kettle and just a bit of a chill out. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just bring you along. And um, like so, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, I don't know what I'll be doing on my next one. Like I said, I never know. I just get up on the day and then decide what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, we've been in the house this morning, I thought, I knew it was going to rain. So I thought I'd come out, set the tap up and listen to the uh, rain on the tap, which sounded amazing. Yeah, absolutely brilliant sound. Especially when you're sleeping in a tent or something and it rains on the night. Uh, makes you fall asleep unless it's too heavy then, obviously it keeps you awake. But uh, yeah, absolutely stunning woodland as you can see. But, uh, plug the hole on the tree as well. Yeah, the sap stopped coming out, so uh, yeah, that'll heal up alright. Yeah, you know, like I say, you only do little holes in them just to get a bit of sap out. I don't drill massive holes because... Uh, as I do if I was just a quick uh, drink in spring. I don't like uh, totally drain loads of sap out of them and stuff like that. Yeah, you want to give it a try. Absolutely beautiful drink. Uh, as far as I know, you'd only get about two weeks of the year to do it in March. Normally, I think it's the second, the third and fourth week in March, I think you can do it, or the second and third week. And then once the leaves start coming on the trees, uh, you can't get no more sap out of them. So, yeah, you just have to catch it at the right time. But yeah, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, going to start walking back to the car. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.